Yeah. Does the Federal Reserve matter anymore, at least for the next few years? Uh, definitely. Uh, in, in fact, the Fed has the markets back. So, uh, look, the Fed has uh, lowered reserve requirements. They brought uh, the, the base Fed funds rate down to zero. They've uh, implemented very uh, aggressive uh, interventionist policies, and the markets reacted to that. So, uh, markets now are basically operating on the premise that both the fiscal and monetary authorities are going to be there if there's any uh, disconnect and any weakness in uh, public equity prices. But that's my point, kind of. They've done all that, but what else can they do, Richard? I mean, they have been buying basically ETFs of the direct market, but is there, is there anything else they're able to do given all that you just mentioned? Yeah, well, when you look at all their programs, they really haven't exhausted a lot of their dry powder. So they have a lot more uh, uh, spending that they can do, and they really can go in there and uh, extend loans to businesses, to state and local governments. Uh, they even can intervene more and buy uh, more corporate bonds and ETFs. But basically, the markets are keying on the fact that the Fed is there and will provide liquidity when needed. Now, the real question is, how effective are they going to be in creating inflation as they wanted to? And how effective are they going to be at stimulating economic activity? And ultimately, the economy has to recover on its own. And there is the need for some fiscal assistance. And that's really what Powell's been saying recently. Yeah, I've been trying to kind of use history as a guide. And earlier, Richard, we talked about this idea of the Roaring Twenties, the new version, maybe coming as, you know, everybody ultimately busts out once this thing winds down or a vaccine is, is created. Then I think, well, that probably also led to some hyperinflation and excesses later on. If you're, you're advising your clients for 5, 10, 50 years out, Richard, what do we do long, long term? Well, I think uh, we have to get through the recovery phase of the pandemic before we uh, look to, you know, the five to 15 year range. However, uh, in terms of our client asset allocations, we're about 30 percent fixed income, 50 percent equity and around 20 percent alternative investments that have hedges in them. And I, we're overweight growth and we're overweight growth because that's where, uh, you know, the, there's lower volatility. There's lower beta and higher profitability. We expect that to continue. So in the longer term, uh, we'd be concerned about rising rates, not for the next two, three years, though. Uh, the Fed will mm -hmm. keep rates low, and we wouldn't worry about uh, bond values getting eroded past 2022.